Once viewed as an oasis of peace, Kampala is quickly turning into a safe haven of criminals as killings spiral out of control. Yet the crime in Kampala pales in comparison to the orgy of bloodletting in other areas. Most of the affected areas of the city were prison massacre and the neighborhood of the districts. As criminals became involved, they began dropping reflects of their victims who they would later kill in the dark of the night. This practice spread from Greater Massacre to areas of Nakawa in Chiwatule and Chida. Well, in Entebbe and Rakiso, it was mainly women and young girls targeted. The insecurity was also registered in parts of Karamoja, Kapchura and northern Uganda. Many have been arrested, but barely has the criminal justice system registered convictions. Proclamations by security chiefs to end crime have been embraced by a new cycle of mayhem. The deputy speaker is now calling for an inquiry into these murders. The rest of the other matters should be with the committee responsible for this sector. And honorable members, you also recall that things that happened in Kasese, the committee was tasked, and yesterday I, am, I was told that the report is ready, so today you will have it on the order paper, and I'm hoping that the committee will be able to present that report, that we put these matters behind us and deal with the new ones. A statement from the Minister of Internal Affairs or anybody responsible for this sector is important so that this country can know what the actual situation is and what is being done to protect the lives and property of the people of this country. Olanya's directive followed pleas by the Masaka Woman Member of Parliament, Mary Kabanda, demanding government intervention. I request that our security committee from Parliament here go to Greater Masaka, especially in Masaka District, and they do the investigation. What an independent report, because the police who are doing the investigation need to be investigated too. So let them make a combined report, comprehensive report of that, what has been happening in Karamoja for the, few, few, the last few months and what is happening in other parts of the country. Gidarim claims that unlike regimes in the past, peace has prevailed across the country, especially after the end of the LRA insurgency, with a string of unresolved matters including high-profile figures like assistant IGP Andrew Felix Kawesi. Their fears that the specter of violence has returned to haunt the country. Shudan Huchre. And TV Parliament.